So let's start at the beginning. This is the Queen of Swords. She jumped out um, very prominently. So um, let's see. And she is upside down. So this can be an air sign. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This can actually be a person maybe that you're having some discord with. Um, for the most part, when the swords are, or the queen is upright, she's very intuitive and creative, mentally accurate. But it does feel like uh, it, it is upside down, so it is an opposition. Uh, it's the opposite of what it would be. So this is maybe not dealing with a loss. You may be sad or withdrawn or mourning a relationship, maybe wallowing a little bit in a situation instead of putting some motion behind it. It does feel like your mind is not being your best friend and it's not helping you propel forward into motion. So see if you can step out of that position. It does feel like that's happening to you now. It can um, almost stymie you or kind of paralyze you into motion if your head takes over and really starts ringing in all those negative things. So superimpose them with the positive. It does feel like you were either sleeping too much or not sleeping at all. It does feel like some some fears are standing in the way of good rejuvenative sleep. It may be escape sleep right now um, or just uh, getting a lot of messages or fearful things coming through in your sleep space. I am feeling that your stomach is affected by this as well. So you may not be eating correctly, you may not be eating enough, but it does feel like your stomach has been a little bit upset. It does feel like you're putting your stress there in the middle of your head and as well as in your stomach. So you may be trying to find um, a new job. You may be trying to find um, a way to relieve some money. You may have, you know, a bill all of a sudden. Maybe your child has gone to college, is starting college, and you're a little worried about how that money is going to appear because um, I find this balance with money is right here. So uh, be aware of how your spending is. I, I know that earth signs you can save for a long time or just be very, very frivolous one way or the other. So um, try to swing back more to the savings, uh, free up some some uh, money allocations that are not necessary. So, you know, if you are uh, going to the movies or you've got all these cable TV things going, you can let some of those go. You can let some of those go and find joy in a book or whatever. Find new ways to entertain yourself that do not cost you so much. So it does feel like you're having to really go through your bills and take a look at what is necessary to survival and what is is not what is a frivolous spending. So it does feel like you're getting more in line with your money these days, Taurus. So you may be um, getting a new job, getting a promotion, something like that. So there is something very close in the near future that will relieve some of this financial stress for you. Uh, what is above you? This is the 10. This is kind of the celebration. This can be also inheritance card. Um, this can be the abundance card, but it does look like things are coming, uh, are mellowing out in the home front. They may be a little tumultuous in the workplace or the friend place, but it does feel like your family is uh, very supportive and loving. Um, it does feel like you are gathering with, with people this summer. Well, if you're on the Western Hemisphere, it's summer. Um, but it does look like you're connecting more and more with family and really good friends of the heart. Um, so you may be having a lot of out-of-towners come all of a sudden, one after another. I know I am. <laughs> so I assume other, um, other signs may be as well. But it does look like it's a bright change. But make sure that you set your boundaries. If you have something really important to do about making money, it's okay to tell your family and friends that not this week, but I'm available next week. So, um, but for the most part, this is bringing you great joy and kind of getting down to the nitty and gritty and why we are here and, and um, finding pleasure and joy in life and not just worrying about the finances, worrying about survival. Um, it's really about the people we meet along the way and um, the love, the love. So don't forget, you are very much loved, Taurus.
Okay, what is in the past position? This is a nine. Nines are right before the culmination of ten. So it does look like you are um, allocating money to the things that are necessary, relieving yourself of the bills and payments that are not necessary. But it does look like you're starting to really embrace some adulting a little bit more seriously. There are uh, quite a lot of of wands here so it does look like the universe is asking you to put some motion behind these great ideas and if you are looking for a job you know sometimes spending six to eight hours a day either on the computer pounding the pavements it takes just as much time looking for a job as it does to actually have one or to uh, go to school or um, improve your current skills. So it does feel like you need to make a little bit more of an investment of time, energy, and motion into whatever you're trying to achieve, whatever you're trying to change. You know, now is a transition time. It's a very big transition time with Pluto and Saturn being retrograde. Um, Pluto can be the planet of, of harsh lessons and destructions. And, you know, Pluto, I mean, uh, Saturn can be the, the planet of, of harsh lessons and destructions. And actually, Pluto can too because it's, it's transitions, it's endings, it's spiritual things, intuition. So, um, Trust yourself a little bit more. Keep that forward motion going, Taurus, and I think you will find some, um, that you will find resolutions and that you will find um, little teeny steps keep you going forward. The two here, uh, this is trying to find your balance. It does feel like it's around finances and material things. It does feel a, a little... It may have felt a little hopeless in the past. It does feel like it's loosening a little bit. So, you know, um, it, it feels like you have found some um, answers to some of these problems or you found some different avenues to go down. Um, it, ask for help if you need it, um, but make sure you help yourself first before you rely on anyone else. Uh, but it does feel like resolution is right there. So don't give up before the miracle happens, Taurus. Keep going forward. You have a lot of gifts and a lot of things to, to gift the universe. So it does feel like you went through maybe a little isolation time and a little insecure time. This may not be around a job. This may about me uh, be about um, physical health, mental health, could be dynamics, families, friends, lovers, things like that. But it does feel like you're now coming out of the cave a little bit and putting a little bit more motion um, to your thoughts a little more motion to your thoughts and you are finding your balance and you must adult i'm sorry Taurus, Taurus, but that's the way it is so the emperor is here you know the emperor can stand for an aries but for the most part i think the emperor is here to remind you that it is time to adult we all have to do some certain things that we don't really want to do but it does feel like you've put off some pretty big responsibilities decisions or motion till the last minute and it's kind of catching up with you the emperor is here to remind you that you can succeed in these no matter how much it feels like um, that is dragging you down. That just keep going. Forward motion will help you keep going. You have everything you need to succeed. You have everything you need to, you know, speak your truth if it's about um, communicating uh, within a relationship. So it does look like you have taken a step into those hard things. And you were very scared, but it looks like you're walking through your fear. I see the fire here. You had to walk through the fear and walk through the fire a little bit to get some resolution and to really tackle some of these things that have been ignored in the past. So it's time to do it. And it does look like you are or you will or you have the willingness to make those changes, sweet Taurus. The Ace of Cups is here. This is all about love. This can be about um, soulmates, but for the most part, because of the isolation, I really feel that this is, you've come to a place of new love and new understanding, whether it's love for mankind, love for yourself, or being open and ready for a new relationship. Or if you're in relationship, Taurus, just taking a step up in your current relationship of love and understanding 
understanding and unconditional keeps coming to me unconditional it's like you you have always had the expectation of, of unconditional love and now you are embodying it for those around you you also have embraced some gratitude to yourself and others so this is um you're really on your path of positive karma and opening your heart to accept your next step with love and understanding so this ace of cups is really about um it can be a birth of a child as well but um a new place of love where your heart is opening up. What is next is the Seven of Pentacles. And this pentacle is really about making decisions. It's really about taking a look at what your options are. It does feel like some new beginnings have started or are on the horizon for you. And this is a little bit, hmm, what should I do? Where should I go? If it's about a job or school or making or, or moving, it's really kind of collecting the information uh, before you make any grand decisions. But it does feel like you might be a little constipated in some decision making. So uh, it does feel like one decision has been made. It might have even been made for you. So it has opened up new possibilities for you. So don't be afraid to jump in and start in a different direction. If that is not the right direction for you, just doesn't feel comfortable you can always go back and choose something else that is how we learn we learn by mistakes so it does feel like you're a little frozen here that you're afraid of making a mistake that is very grand um, but that's how we learn that's how we learn um, it does feel like uh, some of this fear is based around prior mistakes Things that didn't turn out well, so it's almost held you in limbo from making any mistake, uh, any any decision at all. But it does look like one has been made for you, and it has opened up um, the avenues of different choices. So go ahead and jump in there, pick a direction, pick a job, pick a house, pick a city, and see if that's the way to go. If not, you can always regroup, come back, and make another choice. But it does feel like you're frozen in decision making right now. So, um, Knight of Cups is here. And Knights are about motion. Cups are about love. So, you may be open and ready to receive new love. You, um, you have two love cards here. So, there is a big shift, it feels, around your heart space. Um, so, this is can be... Um, messages coming to you of love this can be you know love from the past love um presently or new love so you know you may be opening open and ready you may be sing been single for a long time you may be open and ready to you know join a dating app or something but it does look like you have the willingness to try something new in love whether you are currently in a relationship or not and it can even mean self-love if you're really not interested in partnering this lifetime. But love and heart and feelings are all bubbling to the surface. Some because of fear, but others because of just wanting change and really ready and having the willingness to have that change. Here is another two, the culmination card here is a two. Um, this is finding your balance, finding motion, uh, picking an avenue. It does feel like you have made a very large decision on either leaving a group of people, a situation, maybe a toxic relationship wasn't working for you. It does look like you were going back and forth and making this decision and you have made this decision um, very clearly into moving towards the future. It does look like this legacy key is lighting up too. So you may have reconnected with family members or made future plans for family members. The world is here. You're holding the world. You're looking at things from a broader perspective. It's not just singular that it's this or nothing else. It does look like you've opened your havingness and you, you've opened your possibilities to other choices that you may have not even um, that you may not even have considered in the past. So uh, travel may be involved in this. It feels like future travel um, over a large body of water. Uh, so this feels like something that like a, a trip to Mecca, your Mecca it might be, it might be where your people were born. Um, but it does feel like something projected into the future that you would like to do. So this 
is is kind of requires your immediate action but this is like planning for the future saving for the future um just creating or postulating um that idea so um, you may be taking a family trip in the next year or two uh, so it does look like the awareness is there for you now and your possibilities have been broadened into a the, kind of the world platform instead of maybe just the city you live in the queen of wands is here this can be a fire sign if it is a person this is a leo sagittarius or aries this does look like someone that um, can be a relative can be a partner or a very good friend of the heart uh, but this feels like someone that you're traveling through life with a little bit taurus and this queen of wands she's always told you the truth can be a, a male too i don't want to gender specific this this person but it feels like somebody that's a big cheerleader but this is also somebody who presents you with the truth and says the hard things lights a fire under your butt this is a fire sign and you know queen of wands they're all about motion they're all about jumping in and getting things done so it does feel like there's a bit of frustration on this queen of wands side that she's frustration at um, um, there, little frustration, uh, maybe the lack of motion that you have in your decision making. So it does look like recently she lit a fire under your butt and said, "Hey, listen, listen, buddy, it's time for you to quit wallowing, get out of your own way, and do something, anything." So she's actually coming straight from the heart. She loves you. She has nothing but the best intentions for you. But she also is very frustrated at um, your process. You know, if this this is a fire sign, their process is really, really fast. You know, they jump in the fire to find out it's hot. Whereas Taurus, you look at it for a while to determine how hot it is. So your processes are very different. So you may have had a big talk with this person um, about how to make things work a little bit more advantageous for the both of you. This may be someone you're living with. This may be someone that just has your best interests at heart and has gotten to a point where they're really frustrated. But this is a person that ha that is warm and very honorable she's a, um, a leader in her field and she only wants the best for you um, so you might want to listen might want to listen she has your best interest at heart another ace of wands is here this is kind of bolt of lightning thing so this may be you know you may have applied for um, a master's program maybe six months ago and you'll be hearing from them um, it does feel like communication or a bolt of lightning something will change just you know when you're about to give up hope this is going to come out of nowhere and it will be right on time exactly what you need so aces of wands are usually um, karmic cards they're hands of God this is where you're supposed to be so be open and ready to receive whatever this ace is bringing to you wands usually bring motion it's the beginning of some some new enterprise and it may have to do with um, a great idea and it usually does propel you more financially or balance you a little bit more financially it is the top of this it is and it is to clarify so don't give up before the miracle happens Taurus everything is right in line and it does feel like you needed to get to the bottom of this situation in order to really appreciate the top get the ego out of the way and really pound the pavement and make those changes that spirit is requiring of you and it does look like you have forward motion in here you have made many of those changes uh, just continue on that forward motion so sweet Taurus that is your general reading for the month of August I have a couple of um, new cards here this one is the gypsy card and uh, kind of old school they were gifted to me by some of my ohana in hawaii so i'm going to use these a letter okay so pay attention to communications either emails coming through the mail so it looks like there's some very important information that will be presented to you this month that is really going to change some of the challenges that you have been working on so let's see what else is here and gift so it does look like um, it's time to ask for help if you need it 
Um, and people are really willing to gift you with what you need. And uh, as long as you reciprocate and you acknowledge um, and when it's your turn to gift, it's your turn to gift. So it does look like that give and take that you are having people in your life that are reciprocating people, no longer just takers, um, and that you are learning give and take in the balance of that.